Black holes haunt our universe. Dark centers of gravity that swallow everything in their path. What would you see if you got close and fell past the point of no return into a nether world of twisted space and time? What secrets can we learn about the universe on a journey to the center of a monster black hole? Imagine traveling to the very center of our galaxy, 26,000 light years away, and finding a vantage point on the night sky. You'd see millions of stars, and on the horizon, a strange dark sphere rising. It's a black hole, an object so dense, nothing can escape its gravitational pull, not even light. This monster is 10 times the size of our sun, yet millions of times heavier. It's not the only one out there. In nearly every large galaxy, Astronomers have found evidence of black holes, millions, even billions of times the mass of the sun. How did they form? And how did they get so large? All stars shine by burning light elements like hydrogen. In the largest ones, intense heat fuses these elements into heavier ones, like carbon, silicon, and finally iron. Like hot air in a balloon, heat and light from these nuclear fires creates an outward pressure that prevents the star's massive outer layers from collapsing inward. In some cases, as matter slams into the star's core, the impact creates a powerful shock wave that races back out and literally blows the star apart. A black hole is gravity taken to the extreme. Its mass is literally packed into a point and enshrouded within a dark sphere called the event horizon. That sphere is the point of no return. Any gas, stars, or planets that fall in disappear forever. And yet it leaves behind a powerful legacy, its gravity. According to Albert Einstein, gravity is not just the attractive force of planets and suns. It's a warping of space and time, what scientists call space-time, in the presence of massive objects. A planet, for example, goes into orbit when it's caught in the warped space surrounding a star, like a ball spinning around a roulette wheel. With the mass of a star squashed down to a point, a black hole is a deep puncture in space-time. On our planet Earth, we know gravity as the force that brings everything down. The impact releases energy, a crash. A thud. a shatter. When matter falls toward a black hole, the energy released can reach astronomical proportions. Black holes, famous for hiding in the dark, have a history of outbursts that have reached across the cosmos and shaped the universe we know. Giant black holes lurk in the dust lanes and swirling gas clouds at the centers of nearly every large galaxy. What's more, the larger the galaxy, the larger the black hole. That's a clue that they must have evolved hand in hand, each shaping the life story of the other. Gravity drew vast pockets of gas into dense centers. 
They grew hotter and hotter, igniting to become the first generation of stars. These stars lived hot and fast, and in only a few million years, some blew up in powerful supernovae. From these stars likely came the first generation of black holes. The orbiting Chandra X-ray Observatory recently turned up evidence at the centers of galaxies back in the time of the early universe. These images show its remarkable find, actual supermassive black hole pairs, beginning what astronomers believe is a dance of death. In most cases, their forward momentum simply causes them to go into orbit around each other, like a planet around a sun. This orbit can go on for billions of years. To grow large, one black hole must draw the other in, close enough to swallow it. Albert Einstein showed how they do it. He predicted that when massive bodies accelerate or whip around each other, they can stir up the normally smooth fabric of space-time. It's like a rock hitting a pond. Some of the energy of the impact is transferred to waves that move outward along the surface. Likewise, a titanic collision of black holes would send waves, gravity waves, racing across the universe. This simulation shows what happens. As two black holes get close, they turn space into a turbulent sea of gravity waves. These waves have the effect of carrying energy away from the orbit itself. That allows the pair to draw each other in and merge into one. This simulation shows how a galaxy like our own might have taken shape in a flurry of mergers and collisions. In the beginning, gravity drew patches of stars and gas together. A new larger patch drew still others. In fact, the universe is littered with galaxies in the process of ripping each other apart and crashing together. In the turmoil of each new merger, another victim is thrust into the jaws of a growing black hole. And in the densest regions of the universe, a small percentage of these monsters have been able to grow to a level of size and ferocity we can scarcely imagine. And yet, amid all the violence, are clues to how the universe, and even places like Earth, came to be what they are. Astronomers have long puzzled over a class of ultra-bright beacons of light from the distant universe called quasars. In time, they link them to the outpouring of energy from the centers of galaxies and to growing black holes. But how can something that emits no light shine so brightly? The clock may well be ticking on our universe. The alarm will sound when the last black hole explodes.
billions of years ago, in places where the universe was dense with matter, gravity drew